Hello, my name is Safwan Ali and I'm a technical consulting engineer in Cisco Next Generation Firewall TAC team. In this video, we'll go over the steps to enable the permanent license reservation for ASA code running on Firepower 1000 series appliance. This method is widely used in air gap networks where we don't have internet connectivity. We are going to use Firepower 1010 hardware in this video. Before enabling permanent license reservation, we need to ensure that we have permanent licenses available in the Smart Software Manager. In our scenario, you can see that we have permanent license available in the Smart Software Manager portal for Firepower 1000 series. The permanent license enables all features on a device which could be supported by your device like Security Plus, Strong Encryption, or Maximum Contexts. First of all at the ASA CLI, we need to enable permanent license reservation. Now we need to generate the license code that should be entered in the Smart Software Manager portal for license reservation. Now copy the generated request code and then move to the Smart Portal. Click on Licenses tab and then click on License Reservation button. Then click on Proceed. Then paste the reservation request code copied from ASA and click on next now select the radio button to acknowledge that we have permanent license in the account for this specific device and then click on next now click on generate authorization code in the last step we need to copy the authorization code and move back to the asa on the asa Enter the authorization code generated in the last step from Smart Software Manager Portal. Although the permanent license allows the full use of all of the licenses, you still need to turn on the entitlements in the ASA configuration so that the ASA knows it can use them. Enter License Smart Configuration Mode by running License Smart command. Now enable the standard feature. We cannot enable the feature context command because it is not supported on Firepower 1010 appliance. Enable the security plus license to enable active standby failover. Strong encryption license is not required if you receive the strong encryption token from the smart software manager. However, if your smart account is not authorized for strong encryption, but Cisco has determined that you are allowed to use strong encryption, you can manually add a strong encryption license to your account. Only the active unit requests this license, and both units can use it due to license aggregation. We can validate the license status by running this command. That is all regarding permanent license reservation configuration steps for ASA on Firepower 1010 appliance. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.